All right, this is a good one here. Uh, now we're comparing f of x and f minus x. Remember, this is different than this, not equal. Okay? Do not forget ever, because the other way was reflecting over the x-axis. This one will be reflecting over the y-axis. We're going to see why. Now I'm going to rig up my uh, table of values a certain way so that it just gets to the point. But uh, let's try it with an example here. I'm saying suppose that y is f of x, and f of x is this, this thing. Okay? What that tells us is that f of minus x will equal that. Quite simple. Okay? All right. Now, what do we do? Table of values, just like grade 8. 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm just making up values as I go for this one. I've done this already. My cheat sheet, I know that if I insert um, into uh, f of x equals 2x minus 1, if I insert these values, I'm going to get these results. Minus 1, 1, 3, 5. Okay? You can test that out on your own time. Okay. However, if I do a table of values, I already know that it's going to uh, flip over the y-axis. That's because I, I'm behind the scenes here. Okay? If, I, uh, if I was to flip something to the other side of the y-axis, that would make this value become a negative x value. So what I'm going to do is just I'll set up my table of values with uh, negative values of these. But I don't know if you would have known that beforehand, but a little extra knowledge helps. Okay. This, this principle here, let's raise here. So now I'm going to set up a table of values. Okay. Now I'm dealing with, before I was just putting in the x, into there. Now I'm going to put a negative x in. So here's a negative, negative, negative. Okay? This is what I'm doing here. Okay? Well, really, really it's, it's, it's 1, 2, 3 again, but I'm negating it here. Okay? Now I'll just leave it like this. I'll leave it like this. Yeah. Okay. So this is the function, but uh, because I'm defining that I'm entering negative x value right now, I'm just going to use my original function again. Because when I insert this, it'll give me yeah, it'll give me the values I need. No, it won't. This to be made a mistake. We still have to use, because we're looking for the, the, what this equation turns out, that's what we're going to have to do. I can't believe I messed that up. It's only, it's 8.55 in the morning, so I mean, kind of got some slack. Alright. We put in 0, this is going to be negative 1. Am I right? Yes. We put in a negative 1. That's, uh, this becomes a positive. Uh, 2 minus 1, we get a positive 1. Does that work out with my calculations? Yes, it does. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, let's put a negative 2 there. 2 subtract uh, negative minus 2, because it's a minus 2. Then we get, this is 4 minus 1, we get 3. And then if we put a minus 3 in there, that's positive 3, it comes out to be, so <clears throat> 6 minus 1 is 5, okay. So here's our table of values here. We use, we use this equation for that one, and we use this equation for this one. What's the difference, okay? We're comparing f of x and f of negative x. f of x and f of negative x, okay? What are our ordered pairs? The reason I set up the table of values like this is I wanted to show you our ordered pairs. Um, we uh, Remember, the whole way we're going like this. f of x doing something, ending up with this. Okay, now x to negatives, okay? 
um, we have a pair 0, negative 1. All pairs are x, y. Uh, we did something, we end up with a pair 0, negative 1. No change. This one, we had 1, 1. We did something, we did our function, and we end up with negative 1, 1. What was the change in x? Just like our function said, if we have x, we're going to do something, we're going to compare it to negative x, our x value, which was positive, is now negative. Uh, I'll just do the last one here. Uh, we had 3 and 5. We did our function. We end up with a point negative 3 and 5. Okay? Our x value, which was positive, has become negative. Okay? Back to this idea here. If our x value, which is positive, becomes negative, And our, uh, you know we have um, other things. This point goes there. This point goes there. Oops, there. Okay. What we have going on here, just the idea here. Now you can see from the table of values by what happens to points. What happens to a single point here uh, through the function? The x values all become negated. When the x values become negated. I mean, you're, you're not dealing with positive 5 anymore, you're dealing with negative 5. Well, wrap that around, that means there's a reflection on the y-axis. Okay? But now you can see where we get that from. Wow. Lots of ideas here. This is important. The shortcut, really, thing is when you reflect over the... I'll explain it here. When you reflect over the y-axis, x, y becomes negative x, y. Uh, continuing from this, when you reflect over the x-axis, I don't know if you remember this or noticed this, x, y becomes x, negative y. There you go. These are your two basic rules that come out of this whole thing. Now, what I said at the very beginning, if you do the, the reflection this way and then the reflection that way, it's the same as doing the reflection that way and then this way. It doesn't matter which order you do the reflection. You'll get the same answer there. Any questions? Give me a holla.